Hey guys, in this video, today we're going to be talking about the difference of a responsive yo-yo and an unresponsive yo-yo. But before we get to the video, thank you guys so much for 200 subs. Um, thank you. But, I think it's time to talk about these two different yo-yos. So first is a responsive yo-yo. Um, as you can see, this is, this might be, this is probably the most well-known yo-yo type. And if you just bring it up, it just automatically comes back up if you just tug it up like that. And while with an unresponsive yo-yo, if you throw it down and you try to tug it back up, it doesn't come up. So, you need to perform what's called a bind to get it up. With a responsive yo-yo, you can do beginner tricks like walk the dog. Um, you can also do around the world. You can do a throw back. You can do all sorts of tricks like also rock the baby. Um, but with an unresponsive yo-yo, it makes those tricks more difficult because you have to do a bind. I'm not going to do walk the dog on this or else it will ruin the yo-yo. So, I'm going to show you around the world. See, if you do it, you know, um, just doesn't, the yo-yo just doesn't wrap itself up. So you just catch it. Like this. Aww. So, so that means that trick is pretty much impossible to do on this yo-yo. Unless you could do this, throw it sleeper, and then do it, and then just bind it up. Also with the unresponsive yo-yo, if you see, when you land it on the string, it can stay on there for like a long time, especially since it's a bimetal. But if you do that with a responsive yo yo, it will probably die quickly. And it's already losing spin, and now you're done. Just like that. Well, this could. Well, on an unresponsive yo, still like 10 times the amount of this. Oh, never mind. So, if you haven't gotten one of these yo-yos yet, um, this, I forgot to tell you this, the unresponsive yo-yo has like a wider, a wider inside of it. So you can land, so you have more accuracy on your tricks, but this isn't that big of this. So, if I would have you, if you haven't gotten a yo-yo yet, I would say you should get a responsive yo-yo. Um, because, so you can learn the easier beginner tricks, and then you can work up your way to an unresponsive yo-yo like I do. But... That is about it. Thank you guys for watching. Now you know what the difference of a responsive and an unresponsive yo-yo is. See ya.